the hospital right now. One of them is a child, three adults, and one firefighter, mostly for smoke inhalation. I'm going to step out so you can see what the scene is like right now. Still, hours later, firefighters are dousing this house with water. We understand that this fire started very quickly, just minutes after 4 a.m., and that within five minutes, it escalated to a three-alarm fire. We do not know how this started. All we know is that, is that it spread quickly, collapsed the roof on the home that it started in, spread to the homes on either side of it, extensive damage. This became a four-alarm fire with 170 firefighters on scene. Again, five people taken to the hospital. No word on the cause. We were briefed a short time ago by the fire chief, the EMS chief, and we also spoke to a neighbor who watched all of this break out. Take a listen. On arrival, they had fire uh, in the original building, and they also had fire spreading to both of the exposures on either side. Initially, they did make an interior attack into the main fire building, uh, but they quickly had to evacuate that building, and we concentrated our efforts on the two exposures. My wife smelled some uh, smoke. She wake me up, and she went to the balcony, and she started yelling, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and I was hearing children screaming, help, help, help. Then the voice of a man, and then I went out right away. I saw the three houses on fire. And one firefighter right now is across the street and uh, appears to be being treated for smoke inhalation. He has an oxygen mask on him. Obviously, this is a very tough scene for firefighters to fight. We also understand, we've spoken to several neighbors, one of whom told us that police have come around to check her home surveillance video, searching for clues. We do not yet know if this fire is suspicious or not. This is all still a developing situation. The fire marshal told me that we will not have any idea of the cause for several weeks.